One of the most frustrating things about losing power when you have a well, not city water, is not being able to flush toilets and have running water in the house. Last year, when we lost power in the dead of winter, you can see the video above, we had to haul the water from the creek behind our house to flush toilets. This is more difficult than it sounds, even though the creek is quite close to the house. We had to be very careful not to slip into the creek when trying to fill a bucket. And believe me, it was icy. Getting wet in freezing weather when you have no heat in your house is not a good idea. The snow was 18 inches thick, and this made it more difficult hauling the bucket into the house. So this summer, I decided to investigate manual well pumps as an alternative to hauling water from the creek. I read a lot about the bison pump online. However, they were quite expensive, around $4,000, and we read that it took a lot of muscle power to just pump a few gallons of water. In addition, the bison would be placed in our well, which was even a further distance from our house than the creek. Well, luckily, I found a local well service company that suggested an alternative that, for under $1,000, would allow us to pump water in the basement of our own home when we lost electricity. I made detailed instructions here and laminated them so any of the family members can do it. So let's see how it goes. One, turn off electric level A. Oops, electric level is off. Okay. Now I've got you in the right position. Two, turn normal water valve B off. And off is when the level is at a different angle than the pipe. So, there we go. And three, turn the pump water valve C on. And in this case, the on is when it aligns with the pipe. So it's now on. Four, you might want to put a little water in there to prime it, but you have to turn this valve. Oops, some water in it yet. Then it's really easy. All you have to do is I mean, how easy is that? And it really pumps great. It doesn't take much exertion at all, and I think you could get a full bucket in no time. And as an added bonus, you can connect this hose right here and the other end of it to right there. And turn this valve here, and you can get running water. It'll go all the way upstairs, and I can get running water in my kitchen or even in my bathroom. I mean, how cool is that? If you were in a situation where you were housebound or in a SHTF scenario where you wouldn't want to call attention to yourself outside, this is a great solution. If you are a do-it-yourselfer, you can probably install this pump for much less than what we spent. A word of caution, however. If your water table is greater than 25 feet, this is not a viable solution. In our case, our water table is only 10 feet. Well, now we're prepared for an extended power outage, and because we're prepared, it will probably not happen for quite some time. But that's okay. Better safe than sorry. This is Prepper Potpourri, reminding you to subscribe and share the knowledge. Thanks so much for watching.